Here at Fox's Farm Produce, we are compiling a series of educational videos so that you can see and learn about our farm. Hi everyone, it's Emily here from Fox's Farm Produce with another episode of Learn on the Farm. Today, we're gonna learn about fertilizer spreading. As you'll probably all remember, I know I definitely won't forget, last autumn was one of the wettest on record. And that is why some of our crops here look a bit patchier than normal and not the best. But we're hoping that fertilizer spreading is gonna help recover some of these crops. So here at Fox's Farm, we use an Amazon fertilizer spreader. And this one is a twin disc fertilizer spreader. So we've got one disc here on the left and one on the right. Now, these discs are really important and they spin round at 540 revs per minute. That means they spin round 540 times each minute. This bit of metal here is what flicks the fertiliser. This measuring ruler here determines the rate at which the fertiliser gets spread. So it's automatic with linked up with the tractor and it's a bit like a bath plug. So the higher the number is, the wider the shoot is and the quicker the fertiliser goes out. Just like the drill, the fertiliser spreader is linked to the tractor using the three point linkage and the power takeoff, the PTO. And the PTO is responsible for driving the discs. Now all these pipes here are hydraulic pipes and they mean that the levers inside the tractor work. Now, you might recognise these colours because this is the computer for the fertiliser spreader. Now it looks really confusing, doesn't it, with all these buttons, but once you know how to work it, it's surprisingly easy. So just a few simple buttons. This one here works out the width at which you want to spread. So hopefully it should be set to 20, which is 20 meters, which is the width of the spread. Now this button shows you how many kilograms per hectare you're putting on. So this means that for every hectare, we're putting 185 kilograms of fertilizer. The field needs lots of different fertilizer and each fertilizer has a different rate a fertiliser need for the field. So for example, if you're really hungry one day, you might have three potatoes, but the next day you might only have one. So we feed the crops depending on what feed they need. Now these black boxes are electronic control panels and they are linked to the internal computer in the tractor. Now you remember I said about the bath plug earlier? These are linked to that, so they control the rate at which the chute is open when we're fertilising. So the faster the tractor is going, the wider the chute is open. This, inside here, is where all the fertiliser is kept. Now this is like a shield, and what it does is when we're actually fertilising the field, it keeps the fertiliser on the crop. Now this shield links into the tractor and it can go up and down accordingly. Fertiliser spreading is a really important job on the farm as it feeds the crops the vital nutrients they need to grow big and strong ready for harvest. So you might know from your science lesson that the crops need certain types of nutrients in order to grow. Now the field stores some of this but sometimes we as farmers need to top it up. The three main types of nutrients that the crops need are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium and these are the chemistry symbols N, P and K. Nitrogen is really important as it encourages the growth of chlorophyll which in turn leads to photosynthesis and means the crops get really green. The greener they are the more they will grow. A phosphorus is really important as it encourages the root growth of our crops so that is underneath the soil. Finally, potassium regulates the CO2 levels of the crops. Today at Fox's Farm, we are spreading potash on our wheat crops. The potash is a granular fertiliser, as you can see. So, I hope you've been paying attention to this video. So the challenges for today are, one, what are the three main types of nutrients? Question number two, 
what are the three symbols we mentioned? Now, number three, you've seen it in action, but how fast are those discs spinning per minute? Keep watching our videos, guys.